Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. Uh, if you're new here, please do feel welcome. Uh, if you're a returning viewer, please do feel welcome as well. Uh, on today's uh, video, I am going to uh, go straight ahead and tell you uh, what I'm planning to do. I am going to take you through a tour of my pantry. Uh, the last one that I did was last year. And uh, recently I just went by to Ikea and I bought some extra storage uh, containers, which I have used, but most of the things that I've used for storage solution in my uh, pantry are from Ikea. So guys, uh, without telling you too much, let me just dive in and show you how my pantry actually looks like. Uh, so guys, the pantry renovation was uh, among one of the things that we did last year in our house, uh, we did a uh, renovation in the kitchen and we also did the pantry, which is just next to the kitchen. And one of the things that I did advise my husband, rather than to keep the pantry as a closed in little room uh, behind closed door, I actually decided to go for this uh, clear glass window door which I absolutely love because uh, from the kitchen, from where I, I'm standing, I can see everything, I can see what I have, and I just love the look of how the pantry really turned out having that glass door installed. Uh, so I will just walk you through uh, all the changes that we have managed to do uh, in the last uh, 10 months. Uh, so, it is a walk-in pantry. Before it was so squashed, it was so squeezed in and it didn't even have a proper floor. So those are the real good changes that we did. And all the shelvings that we put in here, the timber, the wooden ones, whatever we had before, they were all uh, metal and I didn't quite like it, especially during the winter times when it actually can get really cold because in the pantry, there is no, uh, there is no heating. Uh, as you can see, I have three shel shelvings um, at one end. This is where I put all my uh, utensils and all the baking stuff and the things that I do not use on an everyday basis. The occasional things that I use maybe once a week, especially for baking pans, uh, the iron is also put in there because we uh, I, we tend to iron once a week. So on this corner, I have dedicated it for putting all the stuff that we do not tend to use every day, but we use them uh, every other, uh, maybe a week or two. So uh, I love how my pantry really turned out and it's been working well for us for the last uh, 10 months so it is something that I really really would advise if you're looking for a way to uh, expand your storage in your house if you have a small pantry there is ways that you can use especially with storage to maximize every floor space in your pantry so that it can work for you as it has been working for us as a family so on here, I will give you a, a tour of how I have divided uh, and how I'm using the spaces. Uh, on here is everything that we tend to use on an everyday basis. So we have our veggies, which I tend to put them at the bottom. So the veggies, the fruits, uh, and all those bits that we tend to use almost every day. Uh, we have the snacks for the kids and also some breakfast. These are oats for my daughter and um, some pancakes for my son. We have the con condiments, so all the jam, the, the spreads and all this kind of stuff. So those, I have put them close by because these are the things that we tend to use on an everyday basis. And on here, I have deliberately put these ones a little bit further on, like the biscuits, because the things which you do not want somebody to be reaching out uh, more often, you tend to put them quite at the back. So that way the children are not just grabbing biscuits uh, every other five minutes uh, until they actually walk into the pantry and they remember, oh, we have a biscuit or two. So that way just reduce the 
the things that you do not want to be used every other time so you put them and push them a little further on uh, on this other uh, shelving uh, this is the same concept i have put everything here that we tend to use every other day so with the rice with the self-raising flour couscous uh, breadcrumbs uh, we have the brown sugar lentils uh, we have lentils as well different kind of lentils we have black beans we have these other different kinds of beans we have uh, the cornstarch uh, and we also have all the pastas these are things that we tend to use constantly so they are um, on the eye level and that way it makes life easier for you because you are not kind of reaching out for them uh, further in because they are just on your eye level um, on this other side we also do have on this other shelf we do have the eggs you can see i have labeled two kinds of eggs so there is the organic eggs there is the regular eggs so the free range eggs and the organic eggs the organic eggs we tend to cook those ones for eating and the free range eggs are the ones that we use for uh baking and doing all the making pancakes such kind of stuff so uh, that's why i have specified what kind of eggs we do have and i like that it is i can actually be able to grab them they're not too close neither are they too far and i've put them a little bit uh, a level higher because uh in case the children they come in they're grabbing something and they can easily break them on this also other level i have put the tinned food uh the reason why i tended to use this concealed uh containers to put the, the tinned food is because we have all different kinds of varieties of tinned food and even though we tend to use them regularly i just decided i do not want to actually uh physically see them because i did not i, I did not want the pantry to look more like a shop i just needed it to look like a family friendly area where we can come and grab something uh for for cooking for eating and all that kind of stuff i love this one for the sauces as well uh it's a lower one rather than this because i don't want to hide my sauces away because with the sauces we tend to use them quite regularly uh at the top is where everything that we are not using at the moment uh this is usually the back stock so some of the couscous have been poured into the container so as soon as we finish this couscous uh, or use a little bit we will uh, use the back stock to refill same as the rice same as the uh, self-rising flour so we have this back stock as a backup anything that is on the back stock is all the things that we tend to use on a regular basis so it's important how you also configure it your pantry uh, to make sure your back stock is some st some of the stuff that you use regularly rather than extras that you put in and then you kind of forget them and uh, they even can take a year or two even before touching them i love this it's a lazy susan uh it is for pickles but i also do put other little bits extras where i do not have a place to put them but they, i tend to put them at the back and the pickles because again it's something that i will pick up uh, for cooking and all that kind of stuff so i want them to be at the front so i can be able to visually and easily see them uh the rest of the stuff at the back stock these are things that we do we use for refill for the pastas and all that kind of stuff and i do have my juicer my slow juicer which uh, i use every couple of days so i've also placed it there because i don't want it to stand out in the kitchen counter and the oil as well um and yeah as you can see our pantry is really even though it is a tight a small pantry but we have managed to squeeze quite a lot in this pantry and it is not only storage for things that we do not use on a regular basis but it is also storage uh for the food that we use on a daily basis uh for the family and it has been working well for us and i have also placed um the ironing board we have the ironing board in the pantry it's just squashed in 
just uh, at the very end it's not taking much space and i also do have uh the piping for the um uh, vacuum cleaner with and this one is from ikea by the way guys all these containers all these containers most of them all the jars all these jars you can buy them from ikea because that's where i got them from and you you can see they are really working well for us as a family and uh yeah why not just not only try out my method but also uh, you can check out different kinds of containers ikea is a good place to get cheap uh, containers and uh yeah like me uh, let your pantry work for you and down there you can see i do also have the the this the part of the vacuum cleaner with the pipe at this end and this one as i was saying before this one i did buy it at ikea so this is also something uh, good for storage solution when you're thinking of small spaces and rather than letting your uh, vacuum pipe just hang about when it's hanged on the wall it's looking neat there's no space that has been taken and we still do still have a lot of uh, floor sp uh, space so guys uh, that's how my pantry looks like I do hope you can grab and uh, have ideas to do the same for yourselves as well so guys I am not going to take your time uh, I do say thank you very much for stopping by once again and uh, keep this uh, journey with me and uh, yeah I will keep posting more videos uh, advising you and uh, showing you and giving you ideas of things that you can do around your house to make it work better for you and for your family so guys uh, bye for now